All right, let's start learning the variations to Packington's Pound. Hopefully you've learned the original melody before trying the variations. It can look a little intimidating with all those 16th notes, but you just have to remember in this time signature, which is 6-8, the 16th notes are just counted as ands. For example, we look at the first measure, measure 13, and it's one and two and three, four, five, six. Next measure, one and three and four, six and one, two and three and four and five, one and two and three and four. So that's the first line. Let's do that again. Ready and go. One and two and three, four, five, six, one and three and four, six and one, two and three and four and five, one and two and three and four. And that last one is four, five, six, but we just hold on to it. Now, if you're finding that it's a little difficult to uh, count those, I would recommend writing in only what you need to. So for example, you probably don't need to write in four, five, six, or maybe just the four of the first measure. So maybe write in one and two and three, four, and then the rest should be easy to count. Then the next measure, one and three and, you probably don't need to write in the four, maybe four, six and, even just writing the six. So you wanna to try to keep your markings as simple as possible. So if you don't need to write it in, I would recommend that you don't write it in because it can become a crutch and it junks up your music a whole lot. All right, so let's learn this um, tune. Starts on the D. Let's try that again. Ready, and we're going down to our A. So you notice both hands are one above a marked course. We talked about that marked course when we were learning the original melody, that it's above the marked G, and that's how you visually know how far to leap down with your hammer. So listening. Ready and play. Great, now next measure we have a dot. Ready, go. Good, let's do that much together. From the D, from the beginning, measure 13. Ready and go. walk up to the A, so we put our hammer on the F. Ready, play. Same thing. Now we go down in thirds in that C chord, just like we did in the melody, in the original melody, but we have a different rhythm. So it's four and five. So from the beginning of that measure 16, we start on that A. Ready and play. Now, last measure. Same interval we started with. So you notice we do have to reach over here for that C sharp. That's a fun little challenge because it actually goes to A major there at the end of that uh, end of that phrase. So starting at measure 16, which is the last measure that we just did, listening. So because I'm right hand lead, my left hand is free there to come down. Watch again. As soon as I hit that F, I'm moving my hammer down below that marked course. Again, using those marked courses. All right, so let's try the entire first line together. One, ready, play.
same thing. Let's look at that B section, which we only do once. So first octave A's, and then grab that E. And then we hit that A again. So let's do that again. First uh, measure of the B section, measure 17. Ready, and go. Okay, now we do a very similar thing, but again, we're gonna be reaching way over to get a G sharp before it was a C sharp. Let's do that again in slow-mo. So we do octave A's. And then we end with that A again. Let's do it again. One more time. All right, let's do those first two measures of the B section together, 17 and 18. One, ready, go. Now we're going to do straight eighth notes here and then grab the E. So those are the two harmonies we've been using, that A and that E. Let's do that again. Measure 19. Ready and go. Now the E. Same thing, go. Now we're in octaves. So it's building up to that, which is really fun. Let's start at the beginning of the B section. One, ready, go. Now get ready to go for the G sharp. Now the A and the E. Now octaves. Good, let's do that again. Ready and go. This is the one with the G sharp. First the A, then the E, now octaves. Great, we only do that once, then we're headed into the C part. We go back to our bass bridge for our F natural. Let's try that again, ready, and. Same thing and. Now the pickups to measure 22. Same thing. Let's do those two together. Measures 21 and 22, starting with the pickup notes leading to 21. So start on your F. Ready? And and you notice we're just making little rhythmic differences here, but it keeps it interesting and fresh. And that's what you want to do when you're making your own arrangement. Now let's look at the last few measures. They're a lot of fun. So after we walk up to the A, we jump over to our C and then B flat. Let's try that again, starting with the lead in notes to that F chord in the last line. Measure 23. There we go. It took me a minute. Ready and same thing. Now these triplets. Again, are focused on the C chord. We do G, E, C. So keep focus of the G, E, C. Let's do it again from with the triplets. Ready? And triple it, triple it, stop. Again, triple it, triple it, stop. 
So now we're going to back up to the lead in notes of that F chord. Listen first. Let's do it again. A little slower. Ready? And. And again. Have another walk up from our D for this last measure. Do it again. Ready? And one more time. Go. All right, now let's start on that measure 21. We're going to do the lead in notes to measure 21. So it's the lead in notes of the last line. Ready? And again. Let's play the entire tune together two times through, starting at the top. Remember that B section is only one time. Here we go. One, ready, play. Right, let's do the entire tune together starting at the top measure 13 and remember that B section is only played once take a look at the end of the line remember that C sharp and then in the B section we have that G sharp so remember those those are the little tricky spots one ready go Here we go. Here we go. 